Hello, good morning. The question is, why is it difficult to sell your property in some instances, considering the fact that you need cash quickly? Well, you and I know for sure that property is not a liquid asset, like a stock in the warehouse or your shares in any company which you can easily convert into cash. Nevertheless, there are some instances that you want to sell your property, be it a house or a land, but it's taking too long and longer than necessary, say four, five years, and at the end, you have to sell this property at a more or less a giveaway price. Why is it like that? Well, my name is Ogbeni Bode Adeniji. Welcome to my channel. I live in Lagos, Nigeria, and I sell property. So on a weekly basis, I give free tips like this to help you to assist your property matter so that you can benefit from my wealth of experience in sales which is over 10 years. So before we go right into it, I will request that you click the subscription button below as well as tap the notification bell so that you will be the first to know whenever I release any of these my free weekly videos to help you on property matters. So let's jump right into it. The first point is that when you have difficulty in selling your property, it may be because of the fact that you do not understand the motive of buying the property in the first place. Your motive of buying the property will always have influence on the process of reselling it. Yes, I repeat, your motive of buying the property will always influence the process of selling it. How do I mean? You are, you're, for example, if you are buying a property for investment purpose in a location that has not fully opened up but has the potential to do so, so it may take four, five, six, ten years before you can be able to sell it and make something good out of it. For example, if you buy a property in a location that is not fully developed but it has potential to do so and you now want to sell it a year or two after, it may be difficult for you to convince your buyer to see the value, to see what you saw before you paid for that land. So it may be difficult for you to sell that land to that individual because the individual has not seen, is not futuristic enough to see what you saw before you paid for that property. So you may need to be understand the motive of you buying the property in the first place, which will have influence over how you are going to sell it. The second point is that the person you bought the property from may influence the, 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 the sale, how, whether it's going to be fast or slow. How do I mean? If you are buying a property from an individual who has not perfected the title, of course it will slow you down because it may need you to perfect the title for the, your buyer, the seller who sold to you and perfect for yourself before you are able to sell. And that is called double, um, we call that double registration. Then again, it could even be from property developer comp development company with their terms and conditions which may slow down your process of reselling. You know, if you check the document very well, um, it's possible that the developer will say before you sell, this and that must be in place before you resell. You know, so you need to check the terms and conditions with the property developer you are buying from. Another property developer may request that you should be the one to bring a buyer that they are not going to buy it from you. So all this may slow down your process of reselling. The then thirdly is that the area where you bought the property from, it is possible that you bought in an area where it has potential to have bad appreciation, but the growth is slow. So you may not be able to sell it quickly. For example, I have, if I'm a developer and I'm buying your land, of course, I am a business person. I'm be buying for investment purpose. So I'm considering buying that land from you putting structures on it and probably letting it out on rental. But if I do my research and I found out that um, the rental, the average rental income in that location may take me a longer time for me to recoup my investment, I will not deal. There are some locations in Lagos, Nigeria, I may not need to mention in this video so that do not amount to being disrespectful. But there are some locations that developer will not want to go into that location for investment purpose. So you need to understand the area. Then again, that the thought. Then again, it could be that for security reasons, if you are buying a property in a location that is notorious for security insecurity, then of course you may be having a challenge selling it. That is for Then the fifth point is that if you are buying a property in a property that has defect. As in, it doesn't have good title, and that, of course, is a dent. If it doesn't have a good title, it may be difficult for you to resell such a property. So that's another reason. So it may drive for a long time. Then lastly, another point you need to note is that you may be having difficulty in reselling your property. Perhaps it's overpriced. 
you know um if you understand the operative average price in that area for example a land yes you bought the land four five six years ago and of course it has appreciated and you want to sell it so you selling it may mean that you are even overpricing the property in question if there is nothing peculiar or particular that can justify why you have that much increase why you have that much value on it then it may be difficult for you to resell that land or house as the case may be so you need not overprice because you need to be on the average with the operative price in that location so i believe that um you probably been able to uh, categorize to put your, your your challenge in any of the category that i have mentioned then by the time you understand this even if you are buying the property with the intention of selling at a later time i so much believe that any of this point i have mentioned could be of help so my name is Ogbeni Bode Adeniji. I live in Lagos, Nigeria. I sell properties, but I don't just sell properties. I guide. I give free tips like this on a weekly basis. So like I said earlier, just click the subscription button and tap the notification bell so that you'll be the first to know whenever I release any of my free weekly video, which of course will be very, very much helpful at all times. So thank you for watching my channel. Bye.